Hi guys, it's Max from the Max Creation. Welcome back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to check up the TikTok account still at Max Creation where we have the latest updates around the latest updates of what is happening. Hope you'll enjoy when you get to that TikTok account. Well, in today's video, we want to ask to talk about something and still that I got a question in the comment section and that is all about what you call the offer letter and the contract in the in Qatar. What is the difference? Which of the two is more important? Remember when we are talking about offer letters and we're talking about contract. First of all, something that you need to understand. An offer letter is given to that person that is chosen potentiality, the person who is potential. For example, if the company conducts what you call interviews, let's say for example through what you call recruitment agencies, from manpower agencies, wherever you may be coming from, when they conduct what we call the interviews, they will select out the potential candidates. Those potential candidates, they think they can hire or they think they can give the opportunity to work with that company. They will give them what you call, what you call offer letters. Remember, when we are talking about the offer letters, it is selected, it's normally only for those selected candidates. It will definitely, as what we talk about the selected candidates, we are talking about those that are potentiality. Uh, picked out of the many. Remember, we always very many that go for interviews and very many people people apply for particular roles or particular opportunities. But they look at those offer letters will normally given to those people that are chosen or what they think they can add up something to the company. Oh, those people that are being so lucky at that time. That is what you call the that's those are selected candidates are given offer letters. And something that you need to know out of the offer letters when when they give you what you call a offer letter the offer letter first of all you need to understand the offer letter will on the offer letter will be written what you call the job title what you're going to do it also include the salary that is still on the offer letter it will include also the benefits then it will also include the paid leaves it will the benefits you're going to have it also some of the offer letters also include what you call the management structures they will also include the start of the employment or the start and the finish up the employment that is what we call part of what we call the offer letter it is normally given to those people are selected then when we look at a contract what we call a contract a contract is just a mutual understanding. It is bind by the labor law. It is bind by the employment contract in that country that you are going to go to. Let's say, for example, you're going to go to the UAE, you're going to go to Abu Dhabi, you're going to go to Syria, you're going to go to Dubai, you're going to work in Qatar, you're going to work in Lebanon, you're going to work in Bahrain, you're going to work in Oman, in Kuwait, in Saudi Arabia. Each of these Gulf countries have different labor employment contracts or what you call employment laws and they have what you call different labor laws. So you find that that employment contract will be designed or that contract, uh, contract uh, employment contract is designed according to the particular country that you are living in and the country, particular country that you are going to work in and what is the structure or what are the employment details or what are the entire, what are the details of that contract per that particular country that is what it will be like but remember when we talk about that employment contract we are looking at a labor agreement that mutual labor agreement that binds the employer and the employee what we call the employer we are looking at that person who is sponsoring your visa or we are looking at the person that is giving the work visa that is what you call your employer then we look at the employee we are looking at the person who is going to be doing the job or who is recruited for that job if you are recruited for that role as a security guard if you are look recruited for that role as a cleaner or a, a female uh, security guard or if you look look treated as what you call a maid that you are called an employee so that contract you are going to sign that contract between you and the employer that binds entities it binds all the details it will give all the details that you are entitled to and what you are entitled per what we call the law but what we call the labor law or per what we call the employment contract law in that country so meaning that what does it mean i always keep on telling people when we are signing what you call the employment contract that you need to be very careful you need to read 
and understand you read need to read and understand and understand whatever is being written in the contract such that you don't have what you call a mess out in one way or such that you don't have a mess in one way or the other. And what does it mean in that situation? It means that the employment contract is more important than what we call the offer letter at one stake. Right now, we have very many people that have offer letters outside or outside Qatar or outside in their countries. But they have not yet received what you call their visas. Their visas are not yet out. They've not, been, they've not gotten their visas uh, uh, from their employers or for people who interviewed them at this stake until now because maybe there must be a problem the visa section where they halt out a little bit but still you also need to be a little bit be patient because you having that offer letter still does not guarantee you that you already selected and you can begin work or you're entitled to begin work that is what i have to let you know so you need to be a little bit very patient you need to be very patient until when they will be contacting you or they will contact you and you will have that done for you hope i've tried to share it for you so meaning that the employment contract that you sign is more important than what we call the offer letter although both of them work in hand in hand but when you have that contract with you it will entertain you and it will definitely give you the full details of what you're supposed to have or what you're supposed to get at the same time. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to click on the notification bell. You'll always be updated wherever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation.